this video, I'll give you a basic introduction of Material Editor in Unreal Engine and I'll also show you how to create a material. So you can start by, by opening any project you're currently, currently working on or create a new blank project like I did. And if you do create a new project, make sure you check the box for the starter content to be included so you can get access to all the materials that comes within with it as well as textures to apply material to an object you can just drag and drop very simple and by the way all of that you can find in content drawer on the bottom left so we're just gonna go ahead and create a new material simply just right click create material and name it I'll name it to test one then when you double click it opens our material editor and I'll just give you a um, quick walk through the interface so this whole space is called graph workspace this is basically where we create um, different nodes you can create by right clicking and just typing whichever node you need um, and we also connect them here and build in the material itself on the top left um, you can see um, it's called preview panel so what it does is basically as we change our material it will apply those changes in real time and detail panel on the left you can if you'd like you can drag it somewhere else i'll just keep it here for now uh, it will basically show you and let you adjust properties of selected nodes so i'm gonna i'm just gonna go ahead and create a material so what we want to do is we want to create constant so if you right click and type constant you can see quite a few of them i'll just show you the difference between um, two of the constants the first one is the regular one it holds a single it's a single value node which is we're gonna use to um for properties like metallic roughness and specular and the other node is called constant three vector um, it holds a value of uh, all three it holds like all three values basically rgb so red green blue channels and the white one is all of them combined together yeah so it's basically a color node um, I'm just gonna go ahead and change the color so what we forgot to do is to actually apply our material which I'm gonna do right now uh, another thing I want to show you if you click on our object select the object you can see that this material holds three different elements it just means that you can apply multiple materials to a single a uh, single model okay now that we're just gonna go now that we applied our material i think i did um we're gonna connect our constant to the base color just left click and drag you can see preview panel changed as what we changed here um, if you want to apply these changes to a world, you just need to update and click the apply. So now you can see this is also also changed. Um, now I'm gonna use a regular constant to work through those other properties. Let's connect to metallic. So what metallic does is basically uh, gives the material a reflective metal-like look if 
um, you can see at zero it kind of already gives a little bit of reflectiveness and if I change value to one it becomes metal looking reflective nice material so also the values that values that you can change within those properties are always going to be within range of zero to one um the next thing i'll show you is just let's change it back to zero create oops uh, i'll create a new constant and I'll apply it to roughness. So the lower value of roughness is, it will apply a glossy effect. And if I change it all the way to one, it becomes matte. And um, if I combine those two properties, so basically, if I give it a metallic look all the way and matte look, our object now looks like made of silicon and if I change the roughness to zero it will look like a very very reflective glass um, so the other property that I'm not really gonna show much about it because um, specular is something that you can use to um, give a finer like to control how fine your reflection is which is useless on metallic objects and let me just delete all of that and connect it to specular so if i change it to one um let me just keep the roughness as well um, It, I'm not sure if you can see the difference. Um, I'll just change it to 0 0.1. Yeah, you can kind of see it slightly changes the reflectiveness of your object. Um, and the next thing I want to show you is emissive color property. Let's connect it. It gives your object um, a glow effect gives your material a glow effect. I'll just set it to um, 0 0.5 and apply to our object. So let me change our okay. Let me change our background a little bit. So now you can see it gives you a glow what you can also do is apply it straight from our constant color node and you will see a blue glow if the glow is not enough and you want to make it even brighter you can just right click type multiply and then oh, another thing I forgot to show you is uh, when you're creating a new node you can just drag from the channel itself and then create a node it will be connected straight so if i change value to three you can see it becomes even brighter so this is how emissive color property works and that's it for this video i hope you found it useful